you, I'm gon' fuck it up. Get on my gates, I pop my boss. Say you want me, then you out of love, baby girl, you out of love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, YouTube, man? I'm back with another video, bro. Today's video, man, I'm going to be showing you how young boys how to get badge points fast in NBA 2K22. But before the video starts, make sure y'all subscribe to the kid, bro. Subscribe to the boy. I post NBA 2K22 content every day. Not trying to waste no more your time. Let's get into it, bro. The last video I made, I ain't going to lie, that junk didn't get no views. That junk flopped. But it's cool. With that video, I showed y'all the best badges to use on NBA 2K22, straight up. This one, I'm going to be showing y'all how to get it fast. I'm on my second build right now. Well, nah, this thing was my first, bro. I had to restart my whole PS4. I had grinded my other... I was dang near had all my shooting badges on my other one. It's cool, though. At least I'm, like, still able to play it. But I had to... My build got corrupted. It's cool, though. It's cool. It's whatever. So, what you want to do is... Let's see... You, if you are a, if you are a young playmaking, if you want playmaking badges, all right. You want playmaking badges. You want to set a pick and roll, and go to the left of the pick and roll, and then they'll run to the rim, and you just wanna, you know, you, you wanna pass it, and you'll you'll get an assist. So for playmaking badges, bro, you really want to set pick and rolls. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pick and rolls. Alright, I'm gonna go on my court and show y'all an example real fast of what y'all would want to do in the uh, my court. You feel me? Alright, look. So this is what you want to do. So this is this is for the playmaking badges right here. So alright, let's say the guy he's standing right here. He's facing this way. Alright, so I say I'm right here, balls in my left hand, I'll go right here, run towards the elbow, and he'll he will roll. So then you just pass it. If that makes sense. Alright. But also I would recommend putting your game on play on pro 12 minutes. I mean you can play on Hall of Fame. Unless your player if your player is like a 60 overall, or you, like you don't got VC to like upgrade your player constantly, play on pro 12 minutes or five minutes. That it just depends, but I probably say pro 12 minutes because you get the most badges and go to practice and only one work on one badge. All right, work on one badge. I right, bet. So for shooting, that's what you want to do. So you want to pump, or right, let's. So hold on, let me move up closer. You feel me? My fault, my fault. All right, look, look, look. right. Say I'm standing right here, right? Grab the ball, bum. All right. So you call for the ball, in my career. Then you do this. All right, make sure you're not on there, right? Like, you got to be like, because you'll get a turnover. So, be like right here. Or you'll get a turnover. So, if you're not right there, you'll get a turnover. But the whole point of it is if you do the little push-off thing. So, look, jazz step, you push them off. If they're a little bit closer, you do it again. And then you pop. All right. And then you can just shoot it because you'll be wide open. There's no contest. Um, unless you got an elite defender like Giannis or... Kawhi or like Anthony Davis on you, you can't do it, but you can do it. Wait till you your pivot goes back in place before you shoot, because if you don't, it'll go like this. You see, it'll do that and they'll still get a contest. So wait till your pivot goes back into place, like this. See, right, pivot right, boom, back in place, and then you can shoot. All right, my fault. <laughs> so if you want finishing badges, you want to do baseline cuts. All right, so. Basically, what baseline cut is. So let's say you're on a fast break. Let me put this ball down. Basically, you're on a fast break, right? So, boom! They just got a rebound. I'm running it down here. The guard is gonna be right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go, boom, boom, boom. Call the ball right here. Shoot a layup. That's literally all you gotta do. Like this. Every time there's a fast break, run baseline. Like just run around it like like this, and then you can shoot a layup. I ain't even mean to do that, but I'm just, I'm just goofing off right now. But yeah, so that's how you get your finishing, your playmaking, and your shooting. So with defense, like, it's kind of, if you're a big man, just try to get rebounds. So what you would want to do is hold the ball. I hold the ball, like, right here. Like, when you're posting up. And then with five seconds left, pass the ball. And then you can run in. Run in there and, like, post up and get a board. Um... That's pretty like deep. I feel like the defensive badges that come 
Uh, or you could just do those ones in my career. You feel me? Like, you could just do them jumps in my career. Those ones, uh, are kind of, they'll, they'll come to you. For sure. So that's just how you get badges, right? Those are just how you get the badges when you play it, right? So I'm trying to, sh now here's how you can get them faster. So, like I said, play Pro 12 minutes or Pro 5 minutes. And if you have VC, play Hall of Fame. Alright? That's, that, that's that. Alright, so which one? You just gotta spam this and make sure y'all go to practice, bro. Like, y'all not gonna, if, like, practice can give you at least 2,000 badge points for that thing. But, I mean, you could get, like, ranging from, like, 10k to 20k just in the NBA game. Just so simply doing that, you hear me, so... Y'all need, y'all need to, need to, need to be going to practice and just spamming the same stuff, bro. Like, your teammate grade matters. Don't get a bad teammate grade. Just only work on, like, one badge thing in the game, you feel me? So if you're on defense, try to get as many rebounds. Go for every rebound. And then on offense, only do that one way of scoring, if that makes sense. So, like, only... If you're a finisher, only go for layups and dunks, but make sure you do the backdoor cut stuff. Like you little, I've scored 100 points doing that jump before. And if y'all wondering why I'm missing these shots, you know what I'm saying? I'm young, 62 overall. I just realized I probably should show y'all a real game example, but my players are 62 overall, bro. And I, I just, my player got corrupted in 2K, not giving me my jump back. They not giving me my jump back. You know what I'm saying? So, gotta, you, you gotta work with what you got sometimes. So, it's cool. But I think that's really it for today's video, bro. Like, all I gotta do is tell y'all, bro. Like, that's how you get your badges. Just, all you gotta do is do what I told y'all. Finish in baseline cut, playmaking, pick and roll. Simple, just pass the ball. Shooting, do the little uh, triple threat move. This right here. Wait till your pivot pops back. Boom, pull up. All right. That literally you could just spam that the whole time. Or you could do this. You could do this around. So call the screen and when they're like right in front of you, do this. And pop. Alright? Like do that and pop. That that's that's what you could do. And if you don't know how to do that, I got another YouTube video. It's the dribble tour dribble tutorial for beginners. Which y'all young boys go watch that. I'll show you how to do that move. And then on defense, that, that junk could really just come naturally. Or you could just do it inside. Of the young practice, you feel me? But that's it for today's video. Hope y'all young boys enjoyed. I'll see y'all young boys tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is probably gonna be a jump shot video. Make sure y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.